Hello mga kabalero, and this is the continuation of our digital image processing discussion series. And this time, we will be dealing with the other example for image enhancement techniques, which is the contrast stretching for grayscale and RGB images. So this next method that I'm going to discuss is a very simple image enhancement technique which attempts to improve the contrast in an image by stretching the range of intensity values that it contains. So you have seen here on the slide uh, the very simple calculation, which it requires the determination of the higher and the lower limit pixel value. So the equation shown in this slide can be inputted directly in MATLAB for the manual way of executing the stretch. However, I have prepared three different means of executing the contrast stretching technique. And just sit back and enjoy. We will be discussing the examples as we move along. So here's the code and the result using the manual method. If we evaluate the code, it does contain the exact parameters that are found on the contrast stretching equation, which is the adjusted image is equal to 255, the highest pixel value, which corresponds to white, divided by the higher or the highest pixel value minus the lowest pixel value, multiplied by the original image minus the lowest pixel value or the lower limit pixel of pixel. By the way, this contrast stretching is for grayscale images. We have a different approach on uh, doing the contrast stretch for colored images or RGB images. So for us to get the values for the L and the H, the lower and the higher pixel value, we need to perform this code or this function, which is the IM hist. Okay. And this will allow us to have an estimate of the higher and the lower pixel values. Now, let me show how I extracted the L and H using MATLAB. All right. So this is the IM hist, wherein we can extract the values for the L and the H. Let's run this code. And as you can see, this is uh, like a histogram. Actually, this is a histogram where we can definitely find for the lowest and the highest pixel value. This is the highest pixel value approaching 255. And this is the lowest lower pixel value from zero. Okay, So in our estimate from our code, we uh, got the L to be 22 and H to be 212. All right, and then applying the formula 255 divided by H minus L multiplied by the image, which is IM minus L or the lower limit. And then we use the formula IM show pair to definitely have an image uh, at hand. Okay, so running this code, we have here an uh, a, a a stretched image from our original image. As you can see, it, it is enhanced uh, from its original image, looking at this more crisper versus the original one. All right. So going back to the presentation, this type uh, or the previous contrast stretching is uh, the manual way. Now we move on to at least uh, an automated one. And this type of contrast stretching method is also used for grayscale images and a bit similar to the first contrast stretching method. But the difference is that we will be selecting the lower and higher pixel values from the histogram using a, a graphic user interface or a GUI. The method uses the code IM tool. Okay, so let's try and show it using MATLAB. So IM tool is our code and we have here the converted image from uh, the RGB, this one, converted to IM gray or from to, into grayscale. Again, this is the main purpose why we utilized the conversion from 
RGB to grayscale, it's because uh, grayscale images can be manipulated or processed um, in an instant versus to an RGB image. So let's try and run this code and see. This is the RGB or the grayscale image. And now using the IM tool, we have here a, a GUI or a GUI. We're in this option here or the adjust contrast is just like what we are doing use or what we are using uh, or what we use in our mobile phones. Adjusting the contrast. And here we have the histogram. And as you can see, there are several spaces in our histogram which does not correspond to the image. This is uh, the first instance and on the end part, this is the second instance. So our goal is to uh, stretch, do the stretch by removing all those unnecessary blank spaces. So doing the stretch, our image is now enhanced. So let's see, let's move it back. Look at the difference. All right. Okay, so that's how we do the contrast stretch using IM tool. And the last one is the more automated one. So let's go back to our presentation. This is the most convenient method of, of the three for grayscale image contrast stretching method. So this step is using IM adjust, okay, or I am ADJ in, in, our, um, in our sample code. So the function is only applicable for grayscale images and therefore you may no notice a conversion of the RGB images again to grayscale before applying the contrast stretching process. And this method automatically selects the lowest and the highest pixel values and then stretches the histogram of the resulting image. So let's go back to uh, MATLAB to execute the program. And this is where we have the IM adjust right here. Conversion from uh, RGB to, to grayscale using IM to gray. So let's run this code. And this is how it looks like. And a montage of the original image and the resulting image to show the difference between the two. This is pretty cool, right? So let's go back to the presentation to have a quick overview of the last process for contrast stretching. And this time, this is for RGB images. So we only have a single contrast stretching method for RGB images as an example, which utilizes the same method as what we have for the grayscale images. So the code for RGB images is I am local Brighton function which brightens the low light areas on our sample image by a specified amount. And in this example, our output image is the result of increasing the brightness of our original image pixel by 0 0.3. So the higher the factor of the brightness, the brighter the output image will become. It's something like we are adjusting the contrast, the brightness of, of the image. All right, so let's go back to MATLAB and show you the example. So I am local Brighton, and then the factor is 0 0.3. So let's run this code. And this is how it looks like. All right, so a dimmer original image. Now it's from the, from the word itself, local Brighton. So it brightens up the original image. And that's the end of this presentation. I hope you learned something about the second method or second uh, example of image enhancement. And that is contrast stretching for grayscale and RGB images. Thank you so much for listening.